What's going on everybody? This is Gibby Gutierrez, also known as Gibby Joe, here on YouTube with a tutorial today on how to use Hedis UV Layout. Uh, Hedis UV Layout is a standalone 3D UV unwrapping tool. It's great for organic models such as characters, or rocks, or slugs, or anything with lots of curves in it. Um, it's great for unwrapping those tools. It really streamline, streamlines your 3D workflow. It can really help with your texturing, and it's great for unwrapping characters and things like that and importing them into ZBrush or whatever you feel like. Yeah, This is an intermediate level tutorial. This already assumes that you have a general th working knowledge of 3D because we're going to be covering some mid-level uh, topics, and I really don't want to stop and explain some of the more basic stuff. And uh, if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, all these files that I'm using right now are going to be in a zip folder that I've posted in the information area of this video. It's going to come with uh, a couple of OBJ file formats and one Maya file and, of course, a UV uh, texture map so that way you can test stuff out. I'm really fond of this particular test map. It's really cool. It helps. It's really help. Really, really helpful when checking your UV space and your texel density, which is the $5 word for today. Texel density. I don't know the etymology of that, so we'll just go on. What you're going to need, uh, if you want to follow along, is a 3D application of choice. I'm going to be using Maya, um, or you can import those OBJ file formats into just about any 3D application. Hedis does use the OBJ file format as well, and you're probably going to need a copy of Hedis. And fortunately, Hedis is really nice. You can just Google it, UV layout and go to their home page and they have this nice little button on the left that says try and you can download it for Windows Mac OS X and also for Linux so there's no excuse for you to fall to not follow along and know of the brilliance of Hedis UV layout so exactly and the other thing you're gonna need is a three button mouse I know uh, who doesn't have a three button mouse right mister man I don't know what you're talking about because I have three button mouse I have six of them just to make sure don't know where that came from, but yeah. So let's close Hedis for a second. And let's jump into Maya. Now, here in Maya, I've modeled these guys. Hey, what's up? What's up? This amazing rock and the character that we're looking at. Let's hide you for a second. And I've modeled this um, amazing rock. This rock is spectacular. Uh, you just know its majesty, as you can see right here. It's pretty amazing. Or underwhelming. I haven't figured it out. Um, this was extruded from a, a cube, and so its UVs are really gross. As you can tell, it looks like something terribly phallic. But we'll close that up, and we're going to have this, we're going to work, we're going to import this into Hedis by exporting it as an OBJ, which is already in the help files. And we're going to unwrap it there, bring it back into Maya, and then you'll see the splendor of unwrapping things in Hedis. So let's launch Hedis right now. It says run UV layout. And this interface is really DOS-tastic. I mean, look at it. It's just really kind of meh. Anything below display, display and below, I should say, we're really not going to be concerned about. It's what we care about is this load save and these numbers up here. I don't even know what E or update does. Um, and then about, whatever. Awesome. Well, the, let's... Um, so prior versions of Hedis UV layout were kind of buggy, and let's check your this version that we have. It's 2.005. Anything below 2.00, um, you're pretty much gonna run into a bugtacular environment with Hedis. Uh, it, it is it's really known to crash, and that's what these temp files are for. So as you're working along, it's it's really good to to work with these temp files. You know, just clicking on them. And they change color too, so that we know which which step you're on. It'll save you a lot of frustration if it does crash on you. And on occasion, some of your models uh, will crash Hedis. But let's load up a really simple rock, like we've done. So let's hit load, and it brings up this lovely dialog box. This looks something out of 1984. Let's go to directory, and lazily I've put all my files on the desktop. Let's click on that, and it shows up in here, and I have no idea why. So let's open up this amazing rock no UVs dot obj we'll click on that but before we hit load let's check out these load options down here and uh, we want to make sure that some of these settings are correct as we import them you're not working with subdivisions who works with subdivisions nowadays nobody crazy people no I'm just kidding there's like two people um, let's stick with poly and we want a, a new UV set 
every time. We don't want to necessarily edit these, so we're just going to hit new. And the other two things that we want to check are weld UVs and clean. This is just uh, to help head us not crash so much. And also, if your model is a little finicky um, or not as clean as you'd like it, it does its best to to load up something that's really clean. But because this is only a 52 triangle rock, it's probably not going to have too much of a problem. So after these options are clicked, let's hit load on that. And the first thing you're going to see is a perspective window with this thing, with our rock in there. And uh, Hedis is really basic, or it seems that way. Um, all it displays is these edges and faces that we have in our model, because that's what it is. And you can't even select the verts or anything like that. So to maneuver in this window, you're going to want to left mouse button click, and that will tumble your model. You tumble in 3D space. And your middle mouse button will move your object in 3D space. Imagine that. And then the uh, right mouse button click when using it with up or down or left and right will zoom in on your model. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, now we're going to go over the general workflow for using Hedis is you want to cut pieces on your 3D object which translate into UV uh, shells. So it's kind of cool. It's really interactive and really neat and it helps you really visualize where your UV shells are going to be and where your seams are going to be and your cuts and slices. It's really it's fantastic that way. So the first thing that you want to do is make cuts and then uh, once you have your your 3D model kind of like splayed out uh, you can drop those pieces into the UV editor and then we'll flatten them out. But uh, let's get to cutting right here. So the first hotkey that we're going to go over is C. It's probably the most important hotkey for cutting. And the one thing about Another thing that's about Hedis is that it's mouse contextual. So wherever your mouse is on this, wherever you're working with your workspace, that's where Hedis assumes that you're going to be working. And because we're going to be slicing edges off, it's contextual. So we have our mouse hovering over this particular edge right here. And if we hit the shortcut for cutting, or the command for cutting, which is C, you're going to hit C and it makes the cut. It even tells you in the little corner right there, oh my gosh, you've made a cut. And what Hedis has done wisely is figure out this edge loop. With hit or miss results, you'll find out later on. In fact, we'll go through an example of like how this can do what it feels like and uh, when whenever it feels like it. <laughs> so we made this cut around the bottom of the of the rock and this rock was poorly modeled but uh, I left this purposely so I can show you how to slice off things and how to place things in the other in the UV editing part. So we've made our first cut right here, and this red line is the initial cut that we made with the C key, and these yellow lines is where in Hedis has interpreted this edge loop to follow, and it's pretty it's pretty cool that way. It does work a majority of the time. Sometimes it'll do whatever it wants, but it's a really easy fix to do that. Um, and now the second hotkey that we're going to learn is enter. Enter will separate whatever uh, piece you've just cut off. So let's hit enter while hovering over this with our mouse. Bam. Look at that. Separated into 3D spaces in three dimensions. That's one extra dimension in paper, which is awesome. 